Hey guys, so I am back. Welcome back to my channel. I am kind of back. Okay, so a couple things. Number one, I misplaced my Canon camera. I don't quite know where it could be. Like, the last time I remember having it was on the rocking chair behind me, and then I looked over there and it's not there. But I'm going to probably look behind that rocking chair and see if it's back there a little bit later. But please um, pray or hope whatever you do that I find it. So this is a hair update video. If you haven't noticed by the title, today I relax my hair again. This is the second relaxer. So the first one was in April. So a little bit of background if you're just watching this video at randomly and you haven't been following me. Um, I was natural for seven years. This will be really quick. This will be really, really quick. <laughs> I was natural for seven years. I used to perm my hair a lot when I was uh, younger, like between the ages of like 13 all the way up to like 17, 18. I don't know why. I think I stopped because I was just like, you know what? I really don't need a relaxer. So I just stopped getting it because I was just wearing my hair in protective styles any anyway. Like I would wear a twist and then like my hair out, my hair in a bun, or I was wearing like lots of weaves, I was into making clip-ins and all that stuff, right? Just living in Japan, I'm still in Japan, but after three years of living in Japan, I was like, you know what, I'm over it, I'm over it, I'm tired of my hair being in a ponytail all the time, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna relax it, so I relaxed it this past April, and then six months later, today, I relaxed again. So the first time I relaxed, since I hadn't been relaxed for seven years, when basically I was all natural. So I went to the salon and they put the perm from root all the way to my ends. Okay, so that was fine. So I have big hair anyway, and I like having big hair to an extent. That part is the, the part that I want to be like flat like it is now. So it is flat, as you can see right now. And I'll throw a clip in here of when my hair was wet and it was drying. It was like, this part of my hair wasn't as fluffy. I don't want to call it fluffy. Um, but I like it. I think I just need to flat iron it and then it will all like 20 minutes ago. And my hair is super straight now. As you can see, I have like a really flat hair in the front, like laying down. And so, yeah, this is the results. I need a trim very badly because it did grow is all, all like flow together but right now I know it looks like oh wow she has big thick hair and I've always had really big thick hair and that my hair used to be like really really curly my mom would put grease water in it and it would be shiny and then I would rock my curls like that but you know now I don't want to wear my hair like that so yeah that's why I relaxed it okay so I had a question on my last video my wash day routine and someone asked how did I grow my hair at this long? Um, basically, if you... I've been on YouTube for maybe like, I don't know, like five years or four years. But I had a video like my, my hair was like this short or I got it cut that short. But my hair has always been like maybe like this length right here. Like bra, top of bra strap length about right here. So it's gradually growing longer and I think that me not getting relaxers for seven years really helped out. Yeah, like about seven years. So I stopped getting... The last relaxer I remember getting was in like maybe in 2007. Yeah, maybe about in 2007. So, okay, my thoughts are all over the place. I'm so, so sorry. Okay, so, so I think that not getting a relaxer for about seven years helped my hair to grow because I wasn't constantly messing with my hair. And I was wearing protective styles. Now, my hair was very damaged from wearing some protective styles because I live in Japan. I can't get the products that I need for my hair. And most of the time, I just put, use Eco Style Gel, water, and maybe a little bit of oil when I got my hands on it. So, my hair regimen might not work for you, but to get my hair to this length like top of boob length when it's in the front and bra strap length when it's in the back and you'll see it when it's completely straight probably when I straighten it tomorrow so the reason why I have not flat ironed my hair yet is because I plan on dyeing my hair 
So when I did an update video like, hey guys, I'm back, I was talking about dyeing my hair, I think. Or maybe I edited that part out. I'm not sure because I haven't watched it yet. But I do want to dye my hair. And guess what color I want to dye my hair? Okay, black. <laughs> I want to dye my hair black. You're probably looking at the screen and you're probably like, your hair is already black. Why would you dye it black? It's not a true black right now. It's like in the sun, it looks, in the sun, it has like kind of like a brown tint to it. And I don't like that. So I plan on dyeing my hair. That's why I didn't flat iron this yet. And I'm going to dye it tomorrow. So I did look up online to see if that was safe because I just got a relaxer today. And I want to dye my hair tomorrow. So I think that's perfectly fine because I read online that that is fine. You can do it up to 10 days without it being a problem, without it drying your hair out because your cuticles are already open and ready to absorb the dye. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. And let me tell you something about my relaxer. So this wasn't a relaxer going wrong. It was like partly my fault so I can't say like oh the relaxer was wrong or you shouldn't relax your hair because you will bring your hair out okay this is what happened I had an appointment with my friend to relax my hair on Monday so Saturday I purchased a new conditioner and it was the Tresemme Smooth keratin conditioner because my hair was really frizzy and I was like okay I'm getting my relaxer perm or whatever on Monday so I can wash my hair Saturday okay so I did that wash my hair Saturday night Sunday I went to church and my friend said I'm available today to walk to perm your hair relax your hair and I accepted and I explained to her yeah I uh wash my hair is that okay and she was all like no it's not okay you you should wait so me being me I'm like I have strong hair I'm not gonna wait it's okay let's just do it you know all of that so I did that I got a perm today so Saturday washed hair pores are open right Sunday relax hair today and okay I'll show you guys what happened so soon she parted my hair in four sections like you know she's supposed to do and this lady knows exactly what she's doing she has daughter she's permed their hair before whatever she perms her own hair relax her own hair whatever you want to call it right so okay she did it really quickly it wasn't like a long process and she didn't perm all of it which is great that's why this part is mostly like flowy and stuff because she only permed from like my new growth my root to about like maybe right here yeah, not even right there like probably here so all this is not relaxed hair. It's relaxed from the last time. Okay, so as soon as she worked it in my hair or whatever, she was like, is it burning? I was like, yeah, it actually is burning. So she's like, all right, let's wash it out. She was standing by the sink ready to wash it out. I was like, wait, the longer season, the straighter my hair will be, right? So let's just wait five minutes. She was like, okay, if you want to, but I think she should wait like two minutes. So I was like, okay, fine, sure. I'll wait two minutes. So I waited two minutes. Actually, it was probably like four minutes because I was like, I can do this, burning and all, whatever. So washed it out, and I thought everything was cool, but I do have a little, little burn spots in my hair. And it's on my forehead because I did not put enough Vaseline. So let me show you. So that's why I have it swooped like this. So right here. One, two, three, four. And my hair is already thin right here. So if you're thinking like, oh man, your hair is thin. Oh, is that a burn? Can't really tell. Okay, that's not a burn. Yeah, like right here. One, two, three, four, five. So guys, if you leave the relaxer on your hair while it's burning... You will get a scalp burn or a forehead burn or an ear burn. So that's why you should really like pay attention to that and just apply extra Vaseline. Like I watched a video on this so it's kind of like, oh wow, warning, <laughs> put Vaseline on your forehead. And I did put Vaseline on my forehead but I didn't put enough. Like I should have put like a lot. My forehead should have been like greasy or whatever but it wasn't. And it's not my fault. So 
whatever, fine. I'll just have to like swoop train my hair right now. And then uh, I read and I also saw online that you can put Vaseline on your burn marks and it'll go away. It's fine. Like I burned myself before. Like my whole face was burned one time. And that is from me falling close to or on a, a space heater. So I burned this whole side of my face and you can't even tell. I don't wear makeup. There's no makeup on my face at all. Look. Like, maybe eyeliner and that's it. But the, any type of burn will go away over time if you treat it well. That's what I believe. So, Vaseline, cocoa butter, all that stuff. I'll be applying it multiple times throughout the day until this goes away. And I'll update you guys on <laughs> when it is completely gone. So, that's my story. Um, I think the, the product that I use is called Optimum. It's this one. And I love the seven things that it came with. I really love the whipped oil moisturizer that you can put on your hair. It leaves it feeling really light and conditioned. So it also comes with the leave-in conditioner. So I don't know if the leave-in conditioner plus the whipped oil that comes in this box is what's making my hair feel really soft. But I love the way it's feeling right now. And I don't even have anything on my hair besides that. And then the Vaseline, of course, around my edges. But surprisingly... You know, I said I washed my hair. Surprisingly, the middle of my hair, like I've touched all throughout, I don't have any scabs in the middle of my hair. So that is my relaxer story. And before I go, I just want to tell you guys that, like, everything that we do to our hair, there could, there something could go wrong. Like, relaxers or even um, sewing getting your hair sewn in, like getting leaves sewn into your hair. Uh, when I was natural here in Japan two years ago, I think it was two years ago, I got, I went to a salon and a lady put a, a sew-in in my hair and I had a partial sew-in. I had a leave out in the front, but she had to sew in this part of my hair. And as you can see, my hair is already really thin right there and that's <laughs> genetics. My dad does like, it comes from my dad. Like, right in here, my dad was thinning, and then um, I barely have hair there, and it's, it comes from my dad. So, it's not from perms or anything like that. Like, I told you guys, like, for seven years, I didn't get a perm, and or, or whatever you want to call it. We'll call it a relaxer. For seven years, I didn't relax my hair, and this didn't get thicker or anything. It didn't thin. It didn't get thicker. It just looks the same. So, I've always had that. I always just know how to hide it. Like, if I didn't have this burn, I probably would part my hair, like, right about here and then comb it over, swoop back like that. Okay, so, long story short, when I was getting my uh, sew-in, that part of my hair, she had to braid because the sew-in went for, from about, like, here to here, and I had the middle out to cover up the tracks. When I took that sew-in out, I had, like, a red spot there that lasted for almost a year, like, eight months before my hair grew back and before that red spot went away because I guess it was too tight. So anything you do to your hair, relax your hair or sew in your hair, or wear your hair in a ponytail too much or flat on your hair too much or whatever, all of that stuff is damaging to your hair. So I already know. But I plan to get a trim tomorrow as well as dye it if I can and then flat iron it. So I'm not going to flat iron until I get a trim, dye my hair, and then I will flat iron. So I will come back to you guys and show you guys the results. Thank you guys for listening to my long story <laughs> about my hair. I just wanted to really document that. And then if you have any tips about uh, forehead burning from relaxers, go ahead and leave it below. I love to read it. And uh, yeah, that's my story. So thanks for watching. Bye.